polls largely stagnant as Republican candidates gear up for third presidential primary debate tonight Jacks on the Florida. Republican candidates for president will face off on the debate stage for a third time Wednesday, this time in Miami. Stream. Action News Jacks Live. The runaway frontrunner, former President Donald Trump, will host a separate event in Hialeah. While UNF political science professor Dr. Michael Binder said he doubts the event will shake up the race in any dramatic fashion, with Trump holding a more than 40-point lead nationally, that doesn't mean the candidates have nothing to gain. I think their goal is to stay alive as long as possible, beat out everybody else, and maybe something crazy happens with Trump where he's not running and you're left as the last person standing, said Binder. Time equals 400 Ms greater than Governor Ron DeSantis has up until recently been seen as the undisputed alternative to Trump, but recent polls have shown his lead as the number two candidate slipping. Former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley has pulled out of the number two slot in her home state in New Hampshire. Time equals 400 Ms. greater than, he's certainly not the only alternative to Trump. He is now in that mix of other candidates, said Binder. DeSantis did secure an endorsement from Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds in recent days. But over the weekend, former President Donald Trump flexed his muscles in DeSantis' home state, bashing him on stage at the Florida Freedom Summit, just a few hours after DeSantis spoke to the same crowd. We hit him hard and now he's like a wounded falling bird from the sky, said Trump. A new UNF poll showed Trump holds a nearly 40-point lead over DeSantis in a hypothetical head-to-head -head in Florida. Listen, nobody was gonna have an easy road against Trump, the odds-on favorite. That's what happens, right? When you're going up against a former president who has the ability to suck oxygen out of the room like Trump does, these things happen and you don't always win all of the elections, said Binder. The debate kicks off at 8 p.m. on Wednesday. Whether a candidate is able to break through and gain some serious momentum will be seen in the days and weeks ahead.